Alright, so in the effort of trying to make all my videos as short as possible, cut all the intros, and let's go directly to what we are here for. Alright, so today we are going to find the derivative of a constant using the definition of limits. So the definition of limits says that in finding the derivative of a constant, we have the limits of f quantity x plus h minus f of x all over h as h approaches 0. So this is the definition of limits and we are going to use this one in finding the derivative of a constant. Alright, so let's go. Now we have here an example f of x equals to 3. Alright, so our uh, definition says that any variable or a variable x we must replace it with x plus h or we are going to replace all the variable x with x plus h. But in this case, as you can see, there is no variable, just the constant, just the number 3 in your equation. So what we are going to do is still follow the process or the steps in finding the derivative. So here, instead of replacing the variable x plus h, because in this case, there is nothing to replace, there is no variable. So simply copy the constant here, copy the 3 here, just copy this one minus copy the negative sign here minus subtracted with the value of your function what is the value of your function all right it is here three the value of f of x f of x equals to three that is why you have also three in this side okay this three is from this three is from this one and this three is from this one all right so simplifying this one we have three minus three all over h 3 minus 3 is 0, just copy the h, then simplify. 0 divided by h is 0. So the derivative of a constant is always 0. Alright, thank you for watching and I hope you have learned something. Again, the derivative of a constant is always 0. Thank you and I hope you have learned something. Bye-bye.